Hello everybody, it's King back here with our video. And today, guys, we're back with some more LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. We are back here with episode 11, part 2. Now, where we last left off, we finally managed to get inside the uh, Statue of Liberty. And now we are trying to climb it. Okay, that was super, super loud. I don't know why that happened. Um, yeah, so now we are inside the Statue of Liberty. And we are trying to climb to the very top so we can get to Magneto. Which, by the way, I still don't understand what Magneto's whole role in this is, right? Like, I understand why Loki would be willing to help, because he wanted to be free. I understand, even, I, although I honestly don't... Okay, you know what, this is a little loud, bro. I don't know why this is so loud. Okay, there. I don't know why that was so loud. But, um, like... You know what I... What was I saying? Right. So, I don't know why Magneto's in this, right? I, I understand Loki, he wanted freedom. Also, I, I think Loki might be the actual mastermind. But even if he isn't, right, it makes sense why he would work with Doom. It makes sense why the Green Goblin, Sandman, Octo like Dr. Ock, all of them work with Doom. It makes sense. Magneto, on the other hand, kind of doesn't make any sense. Like, what would Magneto want that Dr. Doom could provide? Like, not to mention the fact that he hates humans in the first place, right? But, like, what, w what is it that Dr. Doom is offering him for Magneto to help out in the first place? Like, it doesn't really make much sense. Unless, like, uh, Magneto has his own plan that just happens to, like, coincide with Dr. Doom's. But in that case, what is his plan? Because I highly doubt he just woke up one day and was like, You know what? I'm gonna take that over that Statue of Liberty. That's what I'm gonna do with my life. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. I'm not gonna hold you. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing right here. Uh, yeah, what am I supposed to do here? Because we don't have a character with magnetic abilities, so, like, what are we supposed to... Can we actually climb this? Uh, no, we cannot. We're supposed to get up there, but how? Oh, okay. <laughs> that is invisible unless you switch to Wolverine, so I was like, what's going on? Like, I know I'm supposed to get up here, right? That part I knew, but I was like, how am I supposed to get up here? Right, let's activate the clock switch. Surprised anything in this place still works. This junk's older than me. That that is an actual accurate comment. Wolverine's pretty old though. Wolverine is old old. Yeah, Wolverine is old, man. Alright. I really want that blue stud, but I'm like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight with a singular blue stud. It's chill. Alright, let's get in here. I really do like the animation for that though, I won't lie, I really do. Like, the animations in this game are so smooth. Even after 11, 11 episodes, I still gotta really appreciate them. Alright, there we go. Uh, aw, oh, damn it! I was hoping to switch to Hulk while he was already there so I can grab up those studs. Uh, why are you doing that, sir? Like, why are you- okay, there we go. Uh, alright, so only Hulk can get in through here, so let's just destroy that up. Let's throw that out the way, and then let's jump up these stairs here. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's destroy this up for some more studs as well while we're here. And then, uh, I can't actually tell what this is because of the fire, so I'm just gonna try to smash it out the way. Which, yeah, that worked perfectly. Also, can a thunder clap? It can. I was literally saying, can a Tundra Clap put out the flames? And it absolutely can, at least for a uh, momentarily. Oh, a big fig can get through these flames anyway. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I'm not trying to die like that. Nuh uh. Uh uh. No, 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 no. Alright, so we're gonna go through here, except I don't really know where we're. Okay, there we are. I was about to say, I don't really know where we're gonna, uh, like, come out of, but there we go. These mutants with their powers, bro. Chill. All right, we're gonna. Oh nope. <laughs> no 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 no. All right. Uh. We have to get Hope back here, so. Yeah, let's. And hopefully, Mr. Fantastic will follow. So let's get back up here. Let's wait for Reed to show back up as well, because I'm not trying to switch to him while he's there. We go. And then we can go read here, jump, and then we can toggle up his little thing here, just appear through that vent, appear through the other vent. 
Uh, alright. How are we supposed to... Like, how are we supposed to get them across is the problem. Okay, so it's not that. I, I, like, I assume we have to destroy something and then, like, rebuild it. There we go. Yeah, see? There we go. Alright, let's guess what shape he takes this time. Because, honestly, the shapes he takes are so dumb. And so random. What? Yo. Tell me that those didn't look like the dumbest thing you've ever seen. It is genuinely so stupid looking and yet so, like, funny at the same time. Oh, yeah. Give me them suds. Give me them suds. Alright. And then thunderclap here to destroy that. Go up here. Go grab this blue stud. Thunderclap to destroy that as well. Move up. More blue stud. Oh, come on, bro. Yo. It's, it's taunting me is what it is, bro. It really is. Alright, destroy that up, go here, destroy this up as well. See, big figs are literally the best characters for just destroying things in general. Like, it's so nice. Jump over here. Uh, it needs two characters, so I'm going to assume not you guys. Yeah. Okay, so it needs to read research here. I saw two circles and I was assuming like we were going to need characters to push. I didn't realize those were events. What? No, I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to pull that. That like the big fig handles. I'm trying to pull that web slinger hand. All right. So that's gonna allow them to come over from that side. So let's switch over to Hoke here, just because he is the fat. Oh my god. Oh, Reed almost just shoved me off that bridge, and I was about to be like, Nah, you. Do. <laughs> I guess we got our payback, inadvertently at least. Ooh, blue stud, blue stud, blue stud. All right. Thank God, we almost have uh, 400,000, which is not bad. I love how before, if we had 400,000, we would have considered that amazing. Now, if we have 400,000, we only consider that not bad. It shows how how we're moving up in the world. You know, we still only have like a few million altogether, but like still. Whoa. That was a little too close. All right, is Reed gonna come up here or not? Cause like, I kinda need him up here, bro. Nah, genuinely, is Reed not coming up here? Okay, so both of them just fell to their deaths. And I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that information. Like, are they not supposed to come up here? No, see, so I need Mr. Fantastic for this little uh, brick build. So clearly, they're supposed to come up here. So why is he being stubborn, bro? Alright, let me let me destroy this first. And then let me switch to Reed. Okay, that's... Okay, Reed. Really, bro? Okay, come on. Get through the bridge. Jump. Go here. Climb up the little ladder. Thank you. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to pull that little, like, Tesla coil looking thing. And then that's probably going to let Hope come over as well. So, let's just... Yeah, see, there we go. Then we switch over to Hope. Then... Huh. Okay, so unfortunately, we, it seems like we can't put that out just yet. Oh, that's so many studs. This is so nice. This is so nice. Alright, so I know we're going to need Mr. Fantastic for this little area, because we already built his thing, so let's just jump over here, let's go in here, uh, let's see what shape he takes, bro, I'm literally not going to hold you, you can never guess, man turned himself into a fire truck, like, how am I, how are we even supposed to explain the water that's coming out of that tube, like, it makes no sense, bro. Like, genuinely, there's no way for you to guess beforehand. We're also gonna ignore the fact that he just fell to his doom. Because I didn't see it, you didn't see it, so it must not have happened. That's that's how it works. Alright, let's... Am I falling right now? I am falling. Great. <laughs> I love it when I just happen to randomly fall. Alright, let's activate that claw switch, which I actually have no idea what it's gonna do. Uh, oh, okay, so that's probably how we end this uh, little mission over. Alright, until then, though, let's completely 
annihilate some units. There we go. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wolverine. Yo, Wolverine's. Yo, I love Wolverine's animations. I'm not even gonna lie. They're so slick looking. Yeah, look at that, bro. That is so nice looking. So we're probably gonna need a, a Frost character here, so like Iceman or some other character that can freeze things. So like Loki, because I know him with the um with the Tesseract can freeze things as well. So like yeah, but we don't we unfortunately haven't unlocked free play yet, so we can't actually use any of those characters, sadly. But um yeah, let's just collect up these little studs here. Yeah, see we're I literally almost exactly at 400,000, which is so disappointing that we couldn't actually reach that goal, but it's fine. Let's climb up these stairs here. Greetings. There we go. I am the mind's master. You can call me Mastermind. I have the only truly unbeatable mutant power to control your mind. How is that the only unbeatable power? If that were true, Jean Grey would literally be- Actually, never mind, hold up. A primitive mind. So easy to control. No. You can't turn me into a monster. I won't let you. Oh, this is so evil. I This is so evil, I actually had to pause. This is... Bro, he's making Wolverine relive his uh, experiment... Like, Project X days. Also, sorry, I hit the mic there, so my apologies. Yo, that's evil. That's evil, Logan, evil. Mastermind is making you think we're your enemies. You've got to fight back. How do we... Okay, so I have to actually attack Wolverine here? That's kind of... Do I have to attack Wolverine or do I have to hit these little, uh, like, shadows? No, I actually have to attack Wolverine. Alright, come here, bro. Okay, come on. Wolverine, bro, come here. Hulk, he's literally standing right in front of me. Why are you targeting other people? Thank you. Every time I hit the attack button, Hulk would turn around and hit Sabertooth instead of, like, instead of literally Wolverine who's standing right there. Okay, so after you beat him uh, senseless, you have to switch into him. Where? Oh nah, man. Nah, he. Oh, there's a Are you hole okay? there. Mastermind took control of you, Logan. Bro, that's evil. Perhaps What's going on? A more scientific mind will prove more controllable. Just pulling the same stunt again. Gotta Yo, it, he's really forcing them all to. Get away from me. Yeah, he's forcing them all to relive their darkest moments. For those who don't who don't know, Secret Invasion went particularly like hard against um Sometimes I wish against I both the Avengers abilities. and Fantastic Four. It was particularly like evil against those two characters. If I remember correctly, despite the, the like the scrolls being um sort of on uh like how how am I trying to describe this? The scrolls had the same memories as I'm like their as their transformed counterparts, so telepaths couldn't tell them apart, right? But for whatever reason, if I remember correctly, and this was like a long time ago, so I might not, but the X-Men didn't have as big of a problem dealing with them as like all the other teams. I don't know why. I, I can't remember remember what the reason for that was. But like if I remember correctly, the X-Men didn't have as big of a I, like I trouble didn't. with them. What happened? Maybe I'm misremembering he here. Took control of but my mind. Yeah, maybe I'm misremember. I actually want to see if he can take control of the Hulk. Wait, the Hulk's a man of two minds. They will both now belong to me. Oh hell no! Nah. Of course, Hulk's nightmares Thunderbolt Ross. It's because it's because it. it it's because it's his girlfriend's father, that's why. It's not because he's an evil- Okay, seriously? Okay, we need to target Hulk, not these little clones, bro. Oh, come on, Wolverine. Stop, please. Okay, I'm literally gonna die here. I'm gonna have to pop up for a sec to help regenerate some parts. What am I supposed to do here? I literally can't hit him. I'm trying, like, clearly. Do we have to destroy his clone first? Because I'm not sure that's how that works, even. Oh, we have to wait for him to turn back to Bruce Banner first. Okay, I see. 
Yeah, see, Wolverine can't actually die even if he has zero hearts, which is so nice. So nice that he's immortal and that he regenerates hearts eventually. So yeah, we have to wait for him to change back to um, Bruce Banner. There we go, and then we can hit him with our claws. Alright, he's back to poked out. I wonder if there are any characters in this game who, who are truly immortal. Did he just disappear? Oh, okay. I was about to say, did he really just, like, vanish? Which is the real him? I activated the scanner, but, like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, down there. Magneto has exposed the nuclear core. Yo, what is Magneto doing, bro? Is he trying to start, like, a winter holocaust or something? You know what? That was probably the wrong term to use with Magneto. That was probably the wrong term. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, is he gonna use the nuclear core to, like, wipe out humanity? Which would be a genocide, so that's why I said it, but, like... Oh, hold up! We unlock Lady Liberty as a playable character? <laughs> That's, that's straight out there. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Hey, no. Yeah, one whole mini kid. We got Stanley in peril. Felons. Wait till I rant about this on my soapbox. Yeah, so this is gonna be, um, we're gonna watch Sir, this little cutscene. Magneto desecrated the statue We're gonna watch this little cutscene, and then that's gonna be all for today's episode. What is this country coming to? Captain Rogers, I will personally oversee retrieving Lady Liberty and put her back together. You have my word. If Magneto is involved in this thing, I'm betting he wants that <laughs> nuclear core to make Asteroid M operational. Doom must be building some space-based weapon and he needs the transport. You ready, Captain? Good to go, sir. So long as the ever-loving blue-eyed thing here will lend a hand. Sweet Aunt Petunia, I'll lend you both hands, Cap. It's clobbering! Not quite yet. God damn. Yo, let him say his now damn catchphrase. Fight, this is like Black the Widow third time the he's been cut off during the game. Yeah, Phil knows how to bribe people with cookies. I didn't know that was a... <laughs> That's apparently his superpower. Magical cookies. Get to that plane as soon as you can. We need you to reach Asteroid M before Magneto does. Oh, you know what? If I remember correctly, there was a space episode. I, I don't remember if we're actually, like, going to go to space or not, but we might. Either way, though, right? Um, that's going to be all for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. Also, if you want to talk to me or your fellow viewers, use the comment section down below. And that'll be all for today's episode. I hope you all had a wonderful day. If you have it, I hope it turns into a great and wonderful day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, everyone.